Hi everyone, thanks for joining today. Today I'm going to talk about umbilical hernia. What is an umbilical hernia? Umbilical is the other name for the navel or the belly button. And if this is the abdomen. And this is the right side of the rib cage. This is the left side of our rib cage. That is our umbilicus or the navel. Umbilicus hernia usually occurs either through the umbilicus through the hole of the umbilicus or it occurs just at the edge of the top end of the umbilicus or at the edge of the bottom end of the umbilicus. Why do umbilical hernias happen? They are reasonably common hernias and the reason they happen is because as we know when we are in our mother's tummy in the uterus the umbilical cord goes into the umbilicus to feed the baby from the placenta from the mother so the blood goes from the mother with all the nutrition through the umbilical cord comes into the umbilicus and from the umbilicus it goes to the baby's liver and from there it is distributed throughout the baby's body to give nutrition to the baby soon after birth the umbilicus because the umbilical cord falls off closes and closes with a scar so it's always a slightly weak area in our body so it's much thinner than the muscles of the body so remains a weak area and if it's strained in later on in life uh, say for weightlifting or for uh, coughing sneezing or somebody has put on a lot of weight then it can result in an umbilical hernia in an adult however this is one of the hernias which is also present at birth because sometimes the scar does not close the umbilicus and the hernia remains in a baby. So the age of an umbilicus hernia can range from a newborn to an adult. In the newborn, if it happens, vast majority of them will close by the age of two years. If however, it's a large umbilical hernia in a baby and if it does not close by the age of five years, then they will require surgical repair for the hernia to be closed because after the age of five, it is unlikely to close on its own. One of the differences that happens in a umbilical hernia in a newborn as compared to an adult is that the newborn hernia almost always comes through the hole of the umbilicus. So the skin under the umbilicus will be bulging because the babies have got very thin skin. The belly button starts looking like quite blue and also it looks like a trunk of an elephant so it just protrudes out like this in an adult the hernias usually occur either from the top edge of the umbilicus or the bottom edge of the umbilicus very few hernias in my experience come through the umbilicus itself we used to call these hernias para umbilical hernia but now they are all lump summed into umbilical hernia so what are the commonest causes of umbilical hernia in adults? Obesity is the commonest cause. If we put on too much weight, especially around the middle of our tummy, that is why it's more common in obese men as compared to ladies. Chronic cough, multiple pregnancies, fluid inside our abdomen called ascites or peritoneal dialysis done for kidney failure. All of these conditions increase the pressure inside our abdomen and as I said earlier since the umbilicus is a weak spot part of our intestine because of the increased pressure or the fat inside our tummy called the omentum can bulge through the umbilicus and stick out like a hernia. So what comes out from our abdomen into the hernia? In an adult commonest thing that comes out is omentum which is a layer of fat inside our abdomen. And after that, the commonest thing that comes out is either part of the small intestine or a loop of the small intestine. In babies, in newborns, the omentum is very underdeveloped, so it's not very big. So it's very unlikely for the omentum to come out. The commonest thing that comes out is small intestine. So what are the symptoms of umbilical hernia in a newborn? Usually they have no symptoms. The parents can see a bulge in the umbilicus, especially when the baby is crying. However, occasionally these hernias can obstruct. When they obstruct, the baby is in obvious pain. 
and the pain is quite gripey pain so they roll up their knees and they're in severe amount of pain they start vomiting because there is obstruction in the hernia because the small bowel in the hernia has got stuck the hernia which is normally quite soft becomes very tight and if you touch the hernia it elicits pain in the baby that is a surgical emergency and the baby should be immediately taken to the hospital one should never attempt to push the hernia back in at home it is not a safe thing to do so what are the symptoms of an umbilical hernia in an adult vast majority of umbilical hernias in adults are quite small and usually painless and don't cause them any trouble however in some of them when there is obstruction the hernia will become very tight very tender and very painful and they will start vomiting if this is happening then they need to go to the hospital for urgent surgical assessment how are umbilical hernias diagnosed it's a very straightforward diagnosis on clinical examination only occasionally scans like ultrasound or ct may be required if the patient is suspected to have too much fluid in the abdomen or the patient might be suspected to have any complications like obstruction of a hernia what is the treatment of umbilical hernia in infants vast majority of umbilical hernia will close by the age of 2 especially small ones if the umbilical hernia is too large or it does not close by the age of 5 years then that will require surgery to fix it also if the patient had developed complications like obstruction of the hernia as i explained earlier then they might require an emergency operation to fix the hernia how are umbilical hernias treated in adults very small hernias which are not causing any problem been present for a long time or the patient is not fit for surgery then they can be left alone especially patients who have too much fluid in the tummy uh, ascites or they are on peritoneal dialysis the best treatment for them is to be left alone because they usually don't come to any harm if however the hernia is causing problems like pain obstruction the hernia is too big then it will require surgical treatment and what is the surgical treatment surgical treatment is quite straightforward making a cut across the umbilicus and putting just couple of sutures because the hole through which the hernia comes out are usually quite small in larger hernias a mesh may be required which is uh, artificial netting material to be sutured on the hole to close the hole I hope you found this video informative gave you enough information to understand about umbilical hernias if you have any question then please feel free to write in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer your questions i will see you very soon until next time thanks for watching take care